Good morning and welcome to vlog number 49. Today I'm in a town called Berlin in El Salvador and headed to go camping inside a volcanic crater. On my way I'll tour a little town called Alegria which I think by no coincidence means happiness because it's a pleasant, cozy, charming town tucked away in the mountains. And I'll soon find out that at almost any turn, the views are spectacular. Okay, packed up and now ready to head to Alegria and finally make it up to the lake volcano. Ah, get you. <laughs> Gracias. Hola. All right. We are gone. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the side. Has anyone ever told you not to go somewhere because someone told them it was unsafe? Well, I think this was the case for El Salvador for some time. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Personally, I always take those kinds of comments with a grain of salt. Never heed to fear and almost always what is said is not quite accurate. But I do know that El Salvador has had some hardships in its past. I don't like to muddle in the affairs of another country. Nor do I think that I ever know anything about anything. I think it's all none of my business. And my only business as a traveler is to see each and every place and person in it in the highest and best light possible. But today, I did learn something about the affairs of El Salvador that had me almost in tears. Such an incredible lookout. Wow. Wow. There's the volcano right there. And the little volcanoes. Lake. Such a beautiful outlook here. Look at it. Wow. adorable place. Look at the miradors. Not miradors. Look at the murials. I 
Okay, this is it. There's sort of see-through glass plastic flooring. Incredible view. <laughs> Again, you can see the volcano. Full 360 view. <laughs> and a great spot for photos. I could ask somebody to take a photo for me, but uh, I don't know. I get a little. It's a couple of tiendas over here. Just go check out and see what they're selling. Now to go check out the other mirador. And then I'm going to head up into the Laguna. Now in the motorcycle parking lot, just look at my bike compared to all the other bikes. This is a normal size bike, normal size bike, and then my bike. Can you see how big my bike is compared to this bike? I mean, it's just, I, I know there are way bigger bikes than mine, but for these local roads, I think I'm just always wanting a lighter bike, to be honest. Oh man. I gotta tell you, the weight really bears on me. Looks like I can't go down that street where it tells me the, um, the Mirador is, so I guess I'll park the bike here. This is an interesting arroz. Ah, oh, it's like a pendulums, beads, pyramids. Looks like an interesting job. Who am I to say it was breaking down? Who am I? Okay, here is the Mirador. Mirador de la Cien Grados. What's Grados? I don't know. Okay, I guess I came right to the top. I thought that there were a bunch of stairs, which there are, but it looks like from this direction you can come right to the top, so I skipped the stairs, which, you know what, I'm not too sad about. the stairs down there to walk up. There's not too many, but it's another beautiful mirador. Cause I fought for you. Alright, it is off to the Volcano Lake Bigo. I think up there above, on the other side of that peak. Alright, I think it is up here. Alright. I can do it. Oh, Susanna, don't cry for me. We had some good years, so let me be. The world goes on. I sang my song. Give my own true love for you to see. 
Oh, Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, the tears burn. What's this life without a sweet goodbye? And the winds are <laughs> Take this letter for when the nights grow colder. I don't know when to pass him. I need to be able to just go. Huh. I don't want to have to keep stopping because that's when it's the hardest when you have to stop. <laughs> oh, okay, let's do this. ABS off. All right. Why do I have a hard time get, getting going? <laughs> the bike is, the wheel is stuck on something. I don't run into that truck again. Oh, there he is. And I pass him, I think so. Oh, thank God. Read this letter and take the time. Slowing down is the worst thing to do. <sighs> Oh, already here. All right. That was difficult in some parts, but I did it. I guess this is where I go. Oh, jeez. Where do I go? That says exit. I think maybe up and to the left. Damn. Oh, yeah, definitely put the bike down because I do not know which way to go. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Y dónde está el, el, el... Ah, para el espacio para acampar. Aquí también. Oh, ok. Dos dólares con cincuenta. Ok. ¿De dónde nos visitan? Yo soy de Nueva York. Nueva York. Ajá. Ajá. Ah, aquí es. Gracias. Ajá. Ok. Explains it. It's the other road. Okay, now we can go down to the lake because I know which way to go. Ooh, so pretty. Wow, I love it. Such green water. Incredible. This is really, really cool. Really, really nice place. Wow, the color is so amazing. I'm not even sure the camera can see it. The water is so green. Okay, it looks like a lot of people are on the other side of the lake. First of all, look how pretty this is. But there's a road around the lake, so I'm gonna go over to where those people are. Okay, to the other side of the lake, check it out. Look at this. Look at this. 
Hola. There's a soccer field there, which is interesting. Oh, these people are camping here with hammocks. That looks nice. Oh, this is very cool. Oh, it smells a little bit sulfury. Hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> here is where I meet Marta, who will share with me a little more intimately about El Salvador. <laughs> ¿Puede asentar también? Okay, gracias. The hombre. ¿Qué? Yo soy de Nueva York. Oh, y anda sola aquí. <laughs> sí, sí, con la moto. La mujer aventure. <laughs> gracias. Sí, sí, sí. Y usted sola. Ajá. ajá. Ella sola se ha venido de Nueva York. ¿Qué la motivó a venir a El Salvador? Eh, solo para viajar. Vi, vi, viajar. Y, y... Pero porque le motivó algo bonito de venir a El Salvador. Yo como escuché mu eh, muchas buenas cosas de aquí. De, es muy como... Tiene todo aquí. Es muy, es muy pequeño, pero tiene... Mira Playa. qué lindo lo que dice de nuestro país, mira. Sí, sí. Que ella le, le vio tantas cosas bonitas a nuestro país y por eso ha venido a verlos. Sí, ¿por qué? porque mire, aquí en, 20, en 30 minutos Ajá. está en el mar. En 30 minutos va un volcán. En 30 minutos. Ajá. Sí. Es, es, es muy como único, es, es muy lindo. Sí. Y tiene todo en la cita. Sí, Exactly. Los hospitales privados. Marta began to tell me about aspects of life in El Salvador. But there was one part where my Spanish really limited me in understanding. So she called her daughter to explain. Nuestro país, porque vio cosas lindas de él. ¿Cómo se llama Yo soy Tamara. 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 Ajá, sí. Oh, hi, mm. nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> well, my mom wants to tell you that um, that has a company, and before he had to pay rent to uh, Las Maras. I'm not sure if you know what Las no, Maras are. No, no, I don't. No, I don't know that. Well, they're they're like a gang, and they used to oh, wow. uh, take money from our people. Wow. So we had to pay like a rent Hola. to them so we can work. Wow. Por ahí se sale uno. Por ahí se sale. Wow. Yeah, that's incredible. And there's a lot of a lot of little little um companies that had to close. Wow. Because they had to pay more rent than what they earn. Wow. Or selling or, or anything they did. Okay. So there's a lot of companies that had to close. Uh -huh. So um, we're trying to get out of that beach um, now that we don't have to pay rent. Yeah. So that's why my mom wanted oh, to Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, that, that was the part I wasn't understanding, which makes sense because it's a complicated concept. <laughs> But thank you so much. What is and how long has it been since then? Since what? I guess it was since the new president that that he stopped. Yes, that? Um, maybe we've been this year mostly. We've been oh, like safer okay. and without paying that. Wow, incredible. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I feel so happy so for nice the country. Um, yes. I Yes, I mean, I, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's been maybe a week so far. It's been really incredible. I mean, I had heard such amazing, beautiful things and I was super excited to come to come here, really. And it's just been, you know, more than my expectations. So it's, it's really wonderful. I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for, I appreciate the translation. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, bye. okay, bye. As I learned about the hardships of El Salvador's recent past, I couldn't help but think about the rubber band effect. Perhaps countries are much like people. When we have low experiences, it acts almost like a rubber band. When you are pulled down by negative experiences, 
it creates an energetic stretch, which then gives potential to fully launch you in an equally opposite positive direction. Which would mean El Salvador is blasting off. And I have a feeling there's much more to come for the people here. And I couldn't be happier. Hola. Look how green the water is here. Okay, here we have it. Got my bike. The tent all set up and volcano lake. Guess what time it is? <laughs> I'm all set up. I literally I'm just gonna like lie in my tent. Well do some things on the computer of course but um, I'll probably be asleep very early today. I've only been in El Salvador for a short time now but I can already say that definitely it's a country that's really special.